now, new numbers show Wisconsin is one of the few states in the country where it is better for you to rent a home this year than buy one. The News 3 Now's Josh Prider explains what this could mean for your wallet. Apartmentguide.com shows Wisconsin as one of just 10 states where it's better to rent than buy, and I learned that holds true for the Madison Metro as well. Renting's been become very viable in Madison because anywhere you drive in Madison, there are all kinds of uh, new apartment buildings going up. East Washington has been transformed in the downtown area by all these great big new apartment buildings, and there's, it's brought nightlife and restaurants and coffee bars. According to apartmentguide.com, rents have gone down 1.62% in Wisconsin since last year, while housing prices have gone up by 6.14%. It's not just millennials taking advantage. Financial expert Mark Farnan says many retired folks or those close to retiring find the flexibility more convenient and less stressful. Farnan tells me three to five years is still the amount of time you should be willing to stay in a home after purchasing one to break even. Renting can be a very, very uh, sound financial decision. So if you're looking at renting, how can you still save money over time? Well, even though you lost the opportunity of building equity with renting, you avoid paying for things like taxes and insurance and leave maintenance and upkeep to someone else. Farnan tells me you just have to be smart about your situation, looking at the cost of buying a home versus that of renting. If you save the difference, you can actually acquire over time the same amount of equity, if you will, that you wouldn't by renting that you otherwise would have in a house. So you can save that difference and make up for the equity that's lost. Farnan says one of the things to watch for in the months and years to come is the fact that investors are buying up more and more of these starter homes for families and driving up those rents and renting them out. So this could play an even bigger role on those of you looking to buy than it ever has before. Josh Breider, News 3 Now. Well, we hope to keep this conversation going about prices in Madison for housing. You can reach out to Josh directly or send an affordability question to the newsroom through channel3000.com. New at 5.